Hey friends, coming to you from the kitchen today. It's another preserving day, although not by choice because our fridge freezer died. So this past weekend was Columbus Day weekend. Basically, we could not get anyone to come here to fix it. It's still under warranty, but we can't get in contact with LG. So, you know, good times. So basically, I had all this stuff in the freezer that I had been freezing from the summer's harvest. So I had like a, a ton of rhubarb, so I decided to make some rhubarb barbecue sauce. I had a ton of green tomatoes, so I'm making some salsa verde. And I had a ton of squash, as you know, so I'm making some zucchini relish. So <laughs> when your freezer dies and you run out of freezer space and you don't have fridge space, you need to preserve in other ways. So today I'll be water bath canning in the electric canner. I haven't done that yet, so wish me luck. But it's been a little stressful because I had, we're scrambling and I keep going to go to the fridge to get things out and then I see it and I'm like, oh yeah, there's nothing in there. So we have two dorm fridges happening right now. We have crap everywhere. So we've got a dorm fridge set up here in the den. We've got the canning overflow, the things I canned this weekend. No, before this weekend, before it happened. No, I can't remember. It's all a blur. And we've got a fridge in the garage, a fridge freezer. So we our old fridge freezer. So that's fully maxed. We've got the camper full. And we've got stuff over at my parents because we had a lot of money worth of meat. So the produce, I thought, let me just figure out some ways to preserve it. I'd wanted to do this anyway. It was not the time I wanted to do it. But, you know, I didn't really have a choice. So today we spent in the kitchen. I had to run out and get some ingredients I did not have. But mostly I was able to use what I had. Lots of onions, rhubarb, lots of green tomatoes, jalapenos, uh, lots of squash, and more onions. I did have to get some bell peppers. I didn't have any of them. Uh, I only have the Italian frying peppers and I didn't have enough for what this recipe was going to call for. So, wish me luck. It is now 3.15. I need to get all of this stuff blended with the immersion blender and put into the canner and get it processed. And it's a learning curve because I know how to pressure can in it, but I don't know how to water can in it. And I don't feel like bringing up the big water bath canner. It's supposed to be a lot easier just to do it in here. I will let you know how it goes. So hopefully your weekend went better than mine. Share in the comments if it didn't. Talk to you soon.